the height of the summer harvest season. And our hidden camera report showed how some corporations have delivered the fruit to your supermarket and maybe to your table. ABC News first showing pictures of very small children toiling in blueberry fields, not on family farms, but for commercial growers in illegal, hot and dangerous conditions. Well, tonight, that story is back with ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross. It's an ugly secret in American agriculture, out of sight, far from the main roads. Children as young as five-year-old Suli working in the country's fruit and vegetable fields. We found Suli and her seven- and eight-year-old brothers during an ABC News investigation in the blueberry fields of large commercial farms in Michigan. It's legal for young children to work on the family farm, but this is much different. Every year there are children who, who die in agriculture. These kids, they're working with sharp knives, sharp tools, heavy machinery. There are tractor rollovers. Now, as part of a promised crackdown in the wake of our investigation two years ago, the Department of Labor has gone after three commercial strawberry growing operations in Washington state. They're really picking adult quantities of berries, uh, up to 200 pounds of berries a day. Um, they're stooping over to pick those berries. Um, we hear these kids complaining about having backaches, sometimes to the extent that they can't sleep at night. Um, we see pretty severe bruises on little knees. Even more dangerous is repeated exposure to the pesticides used in the agricultural industry, something eight-year-old Edgar was well aware of when we met him in 2009. They could poison themselves because it's too dangerous for them, or sometimes they could go to the hospital. There's no way to know just how much of the country's fruits and vegetables are picked by children. But advocates say low, by-the-bucket pay often forces families to put their children in the fields by their sides. In this new crackdown on the strawberry fields of Washington state, the Department of Labor invoked what is called the hot goods rule, meaning that all of the fruit picked illegally by children could not be sold to stores. Human Rights Group says that's a move that is long overdue, Diane. But the parents bring them there, so... They, they do indeed. They take them there because those little fingers uh, bring more berries into the buckets, and they all get paid for that, and they say they can't survive without putting their children to work. So it's a very ugly system. Brian Ross, back on the case tonight. Thank you, Brian.